Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Naomi Boyer. Thank you so much for being here, spending your time with me. Today's video is gonna be basic bottoms or pants that you need. I'm still not sure how I'm gonna title this video but basically I'm gonna be talking about pants or just some bottoms in general that I have been loving. Um, so these are more for spring, summer 2019. I could do another one again once fall time starts to roll around. A lot of you guys asked me to do this video um, after I did my basics that you need video. So you guys kind of wanted me to do like a basics video for different outfit categories from like tops to bottoms and things like that. So just to preface this video, these these are bottoms that I have been loving, that I have been finding and getting a lot of use from. In turn, I'm hoping that you guys can maybe discover something new, or maybe not new, maybe some of this stuff is stuff that you can maybe pull out of your closet again and start to love all over again. But these are items that I found that I have been getting a lot of use from. Some of these items are super plain and then some of them are more dressy, more fancy. Um, but basically, I feel like these are items where you get bang for your buck because of cost per wear. Even though some of these items may be a little bit pricey, I am getting a lot of wear out of them. Some of these items, you know, may not be for everybody, but let's keep an open mind. Let's keep it positive and also let's keep it fresh. Maybe some of this stuff, you know, are things that you guys might want to try or maybe you've never seen yourself in anything like this, but you know, now you're open to it. So that's great. Enough of the rambling. I just wanted to make sure that you guys understand this because bottoms can be a little bit difficult. You know, we all have different shapes and sizes, but these are just ideas. So maybe you don't have to go for the exact same pair that I'm showing you, but you can try to find some version of it. So without further ado, you guys know the spiel. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would really appreciate it if you would do so. It's super easy, all you have to do is hit the red subscribe button down below. And if you want daily outfit inspirations, you can follow me on Instagram. I am Naomi Boyer on Instagram, and let's get to the video. All right, so these are in no particular order at all. I'm just gonna reach for whatever I have laid out that's closest to me. But the number one thing that I'm super excited about that I feel like I pretty much wear over and over again because it's nothing new for spring or summer, it's just something that always comes back, are white pants. So it can be white trousers, it could be white jeans, whatever white bottoms you're most comfortable with, it's time to bust it out and it's time to put it to some really good use. So these are some brand new trousers that I got from Zara. I've been on the hunt for trousers like these. These are more tapered, so they're gonna be more skinny at the ankle. I did have to get it hemmed, um, but that's nothing new for me and my height. I'm 5'1". But yeah, the reason why I love white pants or white jeans is because they are, number one, they're fresh. Number two, they are always so chic looking and I just love a chic look. I love how crispy and clean looking whites are. And you can dress them up and dress them down because they're already chic and a little more dressy because they are white. Um, you can easily wear a t-shirt with this to dress it down. You could easily dress it up by adding heels and whatever fancier top you wanna wear with it. Um, so there's just so many ways you could go. You could wear this on a beach vacation and make it semi-casual, semi-dressy chic. And then most importantly are white jeans because you know maybe some of you guys are more comfortable wearing jeans that are white instead of trousers but I feel like I want to encourage you guys to try it out if you are someone that is or has been afraid of white definitely try it out I think it's something worth trying and really who cares what other people think um, if you feel good in it then wear it um, so anyway, these are some newer white bottoms that I've also been on the hunt for. I showed this and the other pair of white um, pants in a recent haul that I did, so I'll link that also. So these are by Citizens of Humanity. Yes, they are pricey, but again, I've also been on the hunt for good white jeans, and this was the best one that I found, and they're not super, super white. They're more like an off-white, but I love these pants 
for the same reasons that I love these other tr white trousers. So if you don't want to be or feel like you're super dressy, um, opt for white jeans. I feel like you can pretty much wear practically anything with white jeans as opposed to blue denim jeans. You know, blue denim jeans always seem a little more casual. White jeans, even though they're jeans, because they're white, they are automatically going to be a little more dressy. So you can just pair different things like fancier tops with this and you could wear it to a nice brunch, a baby shower, a bridal shower even. You know, there's different ways that you can really, really dress these up. Our next pant that you definitely need that I'm actually wearing right now are gingham pants. Let me just move my chair and show you guys. So I've had these pants for a while now. I got these on Revolve. They are just some simple high-waisted pants that I love so, so, so much. Now, number one, I love these pants because they are a print. If you ever wanna wear something that is not too casual, but not too dressy, but you still wanna look super cute, these gingham pants are super, super cute. Number two, they're black and white, so you can basically treat these like a neutral piece. They're not difficult to dress up or down. You could wear it how I'm wearing it, which I'm just wearing it with like a fitted black top that I got from ASOS. You could wear it with a bodysuit. You could wear it with a white tank. You could wear this with a sweater. I've just been finding myself that I reach for these pants because they're super easy and they are just adorable. Everyone loves these pants. I get asked about them all the time and I find, like I mentioned, so many different uses for it. So many different ways to wear it. And I feel like this is something that I'm going to just be able to wear all throughout spring and summer and even in the fall. So these are all year round pants. And maybe gingham is not for you. Maybe you don't like this print, um, but you could try other prints that are still subtle, that are also still neutral. For example, I got these pants also from Revolve. They are polka dots. I'm not the biggest fan of polka dots, but sometimes I feel like if they're done right, then I totally will gravitate towards it. Um, again, these colors are really neutral colors. It's like a beige and off-white. And then they are really similar to the pants that I have on, except the bottom of the leg is a lot looser, not as skinny as the gingham ones that I'm wearing. But again, you can get the same uses out of this and it's super springy, super summery. You could wear it all throughout these two seasons. So just to give you guys kind of an idea of, you know, the different prints you could go for, try something subtle if you're more afraid. All right, next pair of pants I want to talk about. Um, these are kind of new for me, kind of not. I had a pair that are semi crop flare um these are a pair of blue denim jeans by denim forum these are called the bailey high-rise crop flare and they have a 70s vibe to them especially with how the pockets are placed on this and i just feel like it totally gives your look a whole new look and then like i mentioned the bottom of these jeans are flared out semi flared out so they're not too crazy um, the nice thing about these jeans, there's a couple nice things. Um, number one, they're so comfortable, they're so soft, they just kind of like fit your hips and your body really nicely. Um, not gonna like, you know how some high-waisted jeans just kind of dig into your tummy when you sit down? These are not gonna do that. Also, they're super spring and summery because of the light wash. And number two, because they are a crop flare, the flare at the bottom is gonna give your body kind of a nice shape, kind of like that hourglass, you know, shape that everyone loves to have. It also looks really nice with boots. They're just super easy to wear with boots. But yeah, I mean, I could wear this super like cool girl edgy um, by pairing it with like a nice black t-shirt and some black boots and throw on a leather jacket over it. Because the bottom of the jeans are flare, they just sit over your boots really easily and they won't annoy you. And then they're also really cute dressed up with nice blouses and some nice heels. And even though these are a really light wash, they're not like so, so, so light. So I feel like they go with anything, any. All right, the next bottom that I wanna talk about is the satin midi skirt. Now, I wasn't sure if I was gonna put this in the mix, but I just feel like this skirt um, looks good on everybody and looks good on everybody type. 
Now this one is from Nasty Gal, um, and I've worn this so many different ways. My favorite way to wear this is to kind of edge it up with boots and like a sweater. You could also just wear this with a plain white t-shirt, maybe not the front of the t-shirt. That's how I've seen a lot of girls wear this type of mini satin skirt. And again, I just can see myself or a lot of women out there wearing this on a Saturday, um, running errands with the family, um, just with a t-shirt, even with sneakers, or just with some sandals, buying your little fruits and vegetables. Um, and then I can also see this on a night out, like I mentioned earlier, edgy with some boots and a leather jacket. There are lots of different versions of these. Um, you could get like a looser version, like an accordion pleat um, mini skirt. You could do different prints, like the really popular one was the leopard one. So yeah, regardless of the print, or the style, the cut of a midi skirt, whether it's like this or just any midi skirt in general, it allows you to wear it in a lot more different ways. Because it's not a maxi skirt, it's not going to kind of eat you up alive if you're petite like me, or it's not gonna look like a little overdone, like if you were gonna go to something super casual. Because it's kind of like that in-between length, that's what I feel like also allows you to make it super, super versatile. Like you could even pair this with a bikini top on the beach. All right, next up, it's a new pair of jeans that I found myself wearing a lot. Even though it's spring and summer, I feel like there's a lot of you out there that are still gonna be the black jean lover no matter what season of the year it is. I'm not really that person, but I do love a black jean if it's not so boring and if it's different and if it's cool. And I feel like I found the perfect pair. So these are Madewell jeans. This is part of their vintage line. These are called the Perfect Vintage Jean. I like this washed black color. Number one, I feel like if you were to buy a plain, like true, true black denim jean, they're gonna fade to this color anyway. Um, but I really love this pair in particular because it has that one rip at the knee that's just perfect, that's not too crazy or not too much, um, but it just gives the jean something else, you know? Then also I love the cut of it. It's kind of tapered, um, so it's not a skinny, but it's also not like a boot cut. They remind me of classic Levi's jeans, but they're not, and they're just really flattering. I don't know, they make my legs look long and nice, and so if you are a black jean lover and you wanna try something new, this might be a pair that you love. Um, there isn't that much stretch in it, but if you wear it long enough before washing, um, you might be able to get it to conform to your body. So I've worn this with a black bodysuit and heels, and that's just a simple, casual look. Um, that you can dress up and then you can also dress up for a night out or you could wear it with a nice like summery cream off-white blouse this would look cute for like a cozy spring look paired with like a chunky cardigan all right next bottoms I want to talk about that you need this summer are dressy shorts I love shorts. I am an island girl where the weather growing up was tropical, warm, and humid all year round. So shorts were just part of our uniform. So once spring and summer rolls around, I'm busting the shorts out in LA. For example, these nice, white shorts from and other stories that already has a built-in belt that you can always remove and add any belt to it or don't wear a belt at all i really love these because they're high-waisted i love them because they're white obviously crisp clean look um, and again they're not denim shorts so they're automatically already a lot dressier but there's so many ways that you could wear shorts like these. And again, maybe they're black shorts instead of white shorts, or maybe they're pink. But dressy shorts like these, you could wear with super cute long sleeve, like flowy blouses, puff sleeve tops, body suits, sweaters, lasers too. Zara always has different variations of these once this time of year rolls around. So let's say Jamie and I are planning on spending the whole day out um, far away and we might not have time to come home and change. And let's say it's a hot day. I can wear this with a nice blouse and some maybe block heel shoes. Um, you know, and go about my day shopping, having lunch. And then if we're still out by nighttime going to dinner, at least this look will still be 
semi-appropriate for a nice dinner. So just to give you guys the idea behind shorts like these as opposed to denim shorts. But I wanted to show you an alternative to denim shorts that are still denim, but that are also more on the maybe dressy side. So these shorts I also got from Revolve. It's by the brand Privacy Please. So these kinds of shorts, as opposed to like your normal traditional denim cut off shorts where the edge or the hem of the shorts are gonna be frayed and you know, those just make it super casual. Um, this is a really good alternative. This one I've worn and posted on my Instagram with a like puffy sleeve top and it looked so cute. It is high waisted. Again, these are gonna be really cute um, with like a tank and a blazer over it or like how I wore it with a puff sleeve top tucked in or just like a nice floral blouse tucked in. They just look nice. It's dark denim. It's gonna go with pretty much anything. All right, last but not least, I wanted to mention the wide leg pant as a necessity in your closet. Um, a wide leg pant is something that I feel like I have and wear all year round. So this is not just for spring and summer, but I am gonna show you a white wide leg pant that is more for spring and summer, but fashion is fashion. You do what you want. If you feel happy and you feel good, I say wear it. Um, so this is definitely something that I'll wear all year round. I wear white all year round, I don't really care. But a wide leg pant is nice because number one, they're different. Number two, there's something about the shape of them, the flowiness when you walk, you're kind of like a bossy. And there's just something about wide leg pants that make you kind of look like you know what you're doing. Um, they're not as boring, not that it's boring, um, but they're just a different take on your normal classic like work pant or work trouser. A wide leg is a little more fun and a little more interesting. And then I feel like you can wear the wide leg so many more different ways. Like you could wear these to work, but you could also wear these to events. Um, you could wear them to a nice dinner. So pants like this, if you wanted to wear it to work and make it more work appropriate, you could easily just pair these pants with a nice silky satiny button down and some nice pumps. Um, and then if you wanted to do it for like a night out dinner type of thing, then you could just pair it with a nice bodysuit and some heels. And if you wanted to kind of wear this to an event, you could do it two ways, um, depending on what type of event, if it's like a super trendy event, I would even wear it with like a bandeau top. So you might show a little bit of your midriff and maybe like a blazer. Or you could also pair it with like a really nice blouse. Since it is a little more wide leg, I would go for something a little tighter at the top to kind of balance and contrast it out. And these wide legs are also nice because it also, I feel like, accentuates the smallest part of your body, um, which for most is like your waist right here. Um, so it's gonna cinch you at the waist and then just kind of flow out. And then maybe if you're not comfortable, maybe with your tummy area on something high-waisted, then you could try Spanx or something to kind of smoothen that part out. Um, but also, you know, you don't have to do white. You could do black wide leg pants. You could do pink. I have pink ones that are also really fun. These are pants that I find that I kind of gravitate to when I feel like I need to be a little fancy, but I don't want to be over the top, but I don't want to wear like a dress. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you are going to try any of these bottoms or pants or shorts that I showed you and that I mentioned. Again, everything I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. If items are sold out, I will link alternative items. If something is a little more pricey, I will link an alternative to that item that is a little less costly. So that's pretty much it. Thank you again for watching. If you are new here and you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Just hit that red subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram. I'm Amy Boyer. And until next time, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in my next video.